Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from earthyscrap.blogspot.com and Earthy Scrap on Facebook. And in this video, I'm gonna share an unbagging of the September Oh Dear Me kit from Freckle Fawn. It comes with this really cute and simple washi. And it also comes in this pouch. This month is gonna be a black and white theme. These are the days of the weeks in wood veneers and they are super cute. And this is the pattern of the pouch and it's really pretty. I love these um, puffy script alphas. It also comes with these um, vellum stickers. And these are the puffy script alphas. And they're also in white and yellow in the shop if you're interested. It comes with these foil epoxy stickers. With these puffy stickers, they're really cute. They're really simple. You can use them in everything. Glitter enamel stickers and they are triangles. If you see the white ones, it looks like a bunch, like a cluster of um, glitter. And it comes with four resin cameras and there are two styles. And I really love these cameras in the puffy camera stickers they released in, I believe it was April the April kit and this is my traveler's journal this Ado uh, Dory and it has pockets on the side and it's really well made and it's really pretty there are a few patterns but I think this one is my favorite I was so happy to get it and you can get these notebook inserts at the freckle fun shop I'm gonna have the link below and I'm gonna decorate the outside of the this traveler's notebook with a really old freckle fawn stamp it's really old it's not longer in the shop but it's one of my favorite stamp sets ever now I'm cleaning up my stamps using the lawn fawn chamois i love the, sh the chamois it's pretty awesome and i'm using stays on ink And I wanted to keep everything in the black and white theme, so I'm going to use the washi that comes in the kit. And I just want to do a little accent on the side. These are really old transparencies. I believe they're Maya Road. They're like years old. And as always, when I use something plastic, I'm using... The Jumbo Extreme Permanent Adhesive also works awesome with resins and metal. And I love these stickers. They they were uh, they had these that same pattern, but in different colors. Uh, about like a year ago, maybe more. And I really love them. They're really simple to use. And I love using chipboard stickers i have three sets there and it says choose to be choose to be happy and the one that i use for the vellum says these little details and i'm gonna keep this one to make some notes so that's what i decorated the grid one before actually using it and these are black and white papers that i picked so i could work on my spread and I have a bunch of companies here Studio Calico, Seven Paper, Felicity Jane and I also have a few scraps and I pulled out a bunch of black and white Project Life cards And this little notebook that I never used is from, I think, I believe we're memory keepers. And I also had some black and white papers too, so that's what I, why I used it. And I have my drawers divided by color. My, I have an Alex drawers actually, let me specify that. And it has all my embellishments and my alphas there are not thickers. 
so I was able to pull out a bunch of black and white embellishments. I used one of the Project Life cards to mat my photo and I'm using the Tombow Power Mini glue tape to glue my papers. And I ran out of the mini glue tape, so I used the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus. And I'm gonna letter this quote, it says, just wing it. Live eyeliner, everything. And of course, I gotta use these pretty scripty alphas and that circle is from an old very old oh dear me kit so that's why you should subscribe because some of these kits run out like super fast and the extra products for the kits also run out really fast that was really pretty the kit it's really worth it Sometimes I go back and I use things from the stash that are no longer in the shop and I feel lucky that I got it at the moment. And before I do my lettering on the paper, I wanted to practice it in this Rhodia pad. And I started with the Tombow Fudenosuke, which is smaller. But I decided that I wanted something big, so I grabbed the dual brush pen in black. If you are learning in, or if you want to learn, the first pen that I would recommend getting is the Fudenosuke since it's closer to the size of your normal, uh, your normal handwriting. Also just practicing pressure. Lettering is all about the pressure. Now I'm gonna letter the life eyeliner everything using the puffy script alphas. Then I move the letters even closer and I'm trying to clean up some of the letters. And I love these enamel dots. I like to use these triangles to point out the things. And I'm using a washi strip from the vellum stickers. And I always like to add three elements, so that's what I did. Three puffy stickers. I'm gonna add the resin camera. And I had no idea what I was gonna do on the right of this photo. I wanted to keep it simple too, because I, I didn't wanna make it way too busy. But it's still, compared to most people's traveler notebooks, you probably find this busy anyway. And I wanted to staple that to make the puppy give it a little bit of dimension. These labels are from Freckle Funk too. I really wanted to use these epoxy stickers, so I put them around my photo and put the stars all around to make the eye travel through the whole spread. And of course I had to use the white ones because they look really cute. And this is the whole thing, a little close up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm Jenny Garcia. And on Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, and Pinterest, I'm Earthy Scrap on Facebook. And my blog is earthyscrap.blogspot.com. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you uh, you follow Frecofon too at shopfrecofon. And have an amazing day. Bye.